Hey guys, this is Stormy with AndroidSpin.com. Uh, taking a second look at the most recent release of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Vibrant. Um, it's from One Cosmic and YTT3R. Uh, back on the 28th of November, they released Beta 1. Uh, a couple of days after that, we got Beta 2. Uh, and today is the 3rd of December, and they released uh, Beta 2 <coughs> of the Vibrant Kernel, uh, which smoothed a few things out and fixed a few other little glitches. We had a few questions come through on the YouTube channel as well as on our post. Uh, so kind of wanted to touch base and show off some of the features of Ice Cream Sandwich and how it's running here on the Vibrant. Uh, folders was definitely a topic of conversation. As you can see, just simply dragging and dropping on top of each other creates the folder. Uh, tap on the folder, opens up, you can rename the folder as you see fit and to remove the folder you just drag it to the trash uh, you also have the option of dragging files back out of the folder when you get down to one file in the folder it just turns back into that application now another question of functionality was the task manager uh, on the vibrant build the key mapping is correct, so all four soft keys, the menu, home, back, and search work, as well as the up and down volume keys. To access the task manager, just simply hold the home screen. Excuse me, the home key, not home screen. And you can see we have a list of all the running applications that are being utilized. Get rid of them, we simply just drag them off to the side. And if you wish to open one up, you just tap on it, of course, and it's going to open up that application again for you. Uh, since we went ahead and opened up the Gmail, uh, I'll go ahead and show you how the new Gmail works out. If you actually swipe across the top of the screen, right at the header, you can move from the current email you're in to the next email in the list. Works pretty well. Um, if you have new emails that you haven't viewed yet, then they aren't preloaded, so then it makes it a little difficult for it to load up. It takes a second to pop up with the email itself. Um, but it sure beats going back to your emails and going through all of them again, one by one, instead of just going through them in one page. Uh, the Gchat function, that is also changed, or Gtalk, whichever you call it. Uh, you can see how it looks. Much better looking interface. Nice addition that I never noticed in the previous one is the ability to switch between your chat accounts. So I have different people in both, uh, but I generally run everything off of my primary Beach Family mail account. Looks really nice, uh, very functional. Alright, back to home. Take a look at the browser. Curious on if the sync works. Uh, there have been reports of sync working between the Chrome browser and the browser for the phone. I have not tried it. Too many bookmarks, way too much stuff, and I don't use Chrome all that often anymore. Uh, but people have said that it does work. But the tab browsing is the most sought after access ability which is up here in the top right corner these little tabs you just tap it it's going to pop up with the various tabs that you have open you can switch between them just by opening it and tapping on the one you're after or if you want to close a page swipe it to the side or you can of course just hit the X up in the upper corner to get rid of it and if you close all of the browsers tabs that are open it closes your browser Something else that was a concern was if the resizable widgets worked. And we'll just go ahead and use my email inbox that I already have open. And you can see, of course, we can just resize it pretty easy. Just press the back key, saves it, done, and it's on your page. Also want to go ahead and take a look at the live wallpapers. 
You can see the various ones that come pre-installed with the ROM. The bubbles was definitely a big key point, and so is phase beams. Everybody seems to love those two quite a bit. Uh, the bubbles are very subtle. Uh, all the live wallpapers lately seem to be very subtle uh, movements with good colors to help save on battery life, but still give that motion that you're after. Now, another feature that wasn't mentioned so much in the ROM, uh, but was showcased on the big media production of, of showing off ice cream sandwich was the p picture editor or photo editor so pop into the gallery here there we go let's just pop into some of my pick speed papers that I've saved Take a look at this one, it's got a whole lot of contrast in it, various colors, different effects. Now if you press menu, you can go into edit on any of your pictures. You can change your white balances, add effects, alter the saturation and various color effects. You can crop, get rid of wet, red eye, face glow, straighten the photo if it's a little crooked, if you took the picture a little crooked. You can flip it, which is cool. It lets you kind of manipulate some of those wallpapers that you already love uh, into being something that you'd love even more because you'll be the one that will actually edit the, f the picture itself. So now we can go ahead and save it if we want to and done. And if you press the back you can uh, undo the changes that you've made. And go back into your gallery and go choose another one if you want to edit some more. Now there was a few things that I mentioned in another post about the market. Uh, the market does work in this version. Uh, Beta 1 had issues making connections. So that was definitely concerning. You'd get started on a download and it would hang and it would never download until you rebooted then it would usually go through so if you have a habit of downloading applications beta one may not have been your your cream of the crop uh, what i did notice and what we talked about in, a, in an earlier article is that ice cream sandwich doesn't have as many compatible apps uh, i found that out when i was trying to install astro um, kindle eStrong file manager quite a few other applications you see it says the device is not compatible and doesn't allow you to download it um, which is depressing that a lot of apps don't work just yet um, it's not on the developer side as far as the ROM is concerned that is all about the, the people that created the applications they aren't up to speed yet with the new OS where you can run into complications is if you install your applications back using titanium backup you end up getting yourself stuck in problematic situations where a lot of things will force close and you'll start running into issues with the ROM that can really ruin your day and make it seem like it's the ROM's fault when actually it's the applications that you're reinstalling's fault so we recommend that you only install app through the market if they let you install it uh, it'll just help keep things up and running I've been running for quite a few days now without installing my backed up stuff and everything seems to be perfect um, one other thing we want to touch on of course in the settings though was the data usage uh, enabling the mobile data setting a limit you set up your cycle dates so that it'll automatically restart itself uh, on those particular days so that you always know what your month looks like as far as your data consumption goes on the network and you can see the different aspects of which applications are using data. You can adjust these bars to find out how much is being used in a certain section, certain parts of the day. Uh, tapping on an application will bring up a pie chart of foreground and background data. You can view the app settings, restrict the background data so there's no background data running. Uh, quite a useful feature and addition into Ice Cream Sandwich that helps you really keep track of what's going on. Um, being that I've only got a 2 gig cap 
on my data because I'm cheap and I'm poor. I set it at 2 gigs to save a little money. So I can cap this out at 2 and I have it set to warn me at 1 gig. So I wanted to reach that 1 gig marker. I won't be too surprised if I get closer to my 2 gig when I get that earlier than I expect. Uh, nice feature, nice addition. Pop into the battery here. Uh, so it's 10 hours on 73%. It's actually been about 12 hours. Um, 10 hours ago is when I actually flashed this modem that they just released, the updated, excuse me, the updated kernel. Uh, so you can see from 10 hours ago till now, I'm at 73% and I was roughly at 92 or so prior to flashing the, the kernel update. There's still some issues with making connections to your computer and of course if you go into storage unfortunately settings have stopped and it closes out so you can't check the storage. Uh, there's also reports and issues of music not for on or music on your memory card not being pulled up by the music app. So if you have music on the memory card you'll want to transfer that to the phone memory uh, in order to be able to, to play it and listen to it. On that though, everything else seems to be running really, really well. There's just a few minor hiccups here and there as far as for my device. Uh, be sure to read the forums and keep tabs on what other people are reporting as far as issues. Of course, uh, hit and miss with different ROMs and different devices. So it's always a good idea to check them out and test them. But be sure you know what you're doing so that you can go back to where you started. All right, everybody, you have a good rest of your day and a good weekend. And this is Stormy for Android Spin signing off. Take care.